This is part six of Movie Jukebox Demos for the Popcorn Hour, Network Media Tank. Today we're going to take a look at the NMT server, or Dynamic YAMJ. The NMT server runs on your PC and is a web service for your Popcorn Hour, providing a movie jukebox, music jukebox, and a photo browser all built in. Here's the main index page for the NMT server. Currently, you can see we have seven movie cover covers across by three rows for a total of 21 movies being displayed per page. As we use the remote, the selected movie is highlighted in yellow, and the movie title appears along the bottom of the screen. On the left side of the page are the menus, and at the top are more categories, special links, and menu commands. If we press the info button on our remote, we'll see a complete categories pop-up where we have many choices for showing different groupings of our movies. We can use the direction arrow on our remote to move around and select and highlight any grouping we want. Then press the enter key to select that grouping and show this group on the index page. Very handy to have. Now let's press info once more to go back to the main index. On the left is the index menu. If we press the left arrow, we can go over to that section. Right now we're displaying all movies sorting on title. And you can see I have that highlighted in yellow in the, along the F's left side toward the top. Here we can select all movies yet sort on the Internet Movie Database rating. On the next line down, we can select to show only recent or newest movies that have been added to our collection. We also can select RD, which means release date, to show all movies yet sort by release date. And we also can select Mix that combines RD and New. Below this are the movie genre selection links. Now look at the upper section across the top of the page and find the menu link with the number 2 next to it. By either pressing the 2 button on our remote or highlighting the word menu and pressing enter on our remote, we will sequence through the different menus that can be shown on the left side of the page. I'm going to press 2 now. Now I just press 2. We see the menu on the left change. Now, instead of movie selection by genre, this area now has selections based on alphabetic selection by first letter of the movie title. If we press 2 again, this gives us a menu based on both Internet Movie Database rating in the upper section and by year or decade in the lower section. Pressing the 2 button again on our remote, we can now see that our menu selections are now based on the release country of the movie. Pressing 2 again shows a menu based on movie file type. Pressing 2 once more goes to a no menu shown mode, where there isn't any menu, allowing more room for the movie thumbnails on the index page. Pressing 2 one more time, and we've, you can see we've come full circle back to a menu based on genre selection. Anytime we want to change the menu on the left side of the screen, just press the 2 button on your remote to sequence through the various menus. Now once again, look at the top section. Just to the right of the menu link, you'll see a thumbs link with the number 3 next to it. Pressing either the number 3 or highlighting thumbs and pressing enter will cycle through the three different movie thumbnail display options that are available. I'm going to press the number three on the remote. Now we have a screen that's displaying ten thumbnails across with four rows for a total of 40 movie thumbnails being displayed per page. 
pressing the number 3 on the remote again, we now see five thumbnails across with two rows or ten thumbnails per page. Pressing the 3 button one more time shows where we were in the beginning are 21 thumbnails per page. So, we have three different display settings for our index screen. The first one is 10 movie thumbnails per page. The second one is 21 thumbnails per page. And the last one displays 40 thumbnails per page. You can select the display option that you like best here. I myself prefer 21 movie thumbnails per page. Here's another trick for the index page. Press the number 38. Now, instead of the highlighted movie having yellow around it, the selected movie is zoomed. And to see this, we just press the arrow buttons on a remote to move around on the index menu. Very, very nice. Now let's press 38 one more time to go back to the highlights with yellow. Again, you can have your index display however you like. To see what other selections you can make, press the Setup button on your remote. You can highlight an option or press the number buttons on your remote that are listed to the left of the particular option you want to see. Lots of choices here and very easy to use. When finished, press the Setup button again to go back to the main index. Also, look up on the top line on the left side. You can see here we have four colors with four menu choices that we can make. Pressing the red button shows movies only on the index page, which is what we have right now. We can also press the green button to select and show only the TV shows. I'll do that. And there's our TV shows pop up. <coughs> Pressing yellow shows the music index page and pressing blue will bring up the browser. I'm going to press red to go back to the movie index. Now if you look at the movie thumbnails you'll see that they all have box covers which each movie having the correct type of box cover i.e. if a movie is blu-ray it will have the blu-ray box cover and so on. The add-on box covers does this. For box sets or groups, box covers also shows multiple covers on the index to indicate a box set or group. I'll go over to the 28 days box set and you can see it looks like there are two movies there stacked. We're finished now with the index page so let's go select 310 to Yuma and take a look at the movie details page. Here is the movie details page for 310 to Yuma. As with the index page, we have three choices for how we display the details page. Let's press the setup button on the remote. Here's the second way we can display the details page with a larger uh, movie poster. Let's press setup once more and we can see a third possibility. I'm going to press setup one more time to go back to my original details page. Just remember, you can use that Setup button to select whichever one you like the best. We have a nice fan art background and a movie box pop-up. Along the bottom right side, you can see the various selections we can make. First of all, we can press Play to watch the movie, of course. If we press the right arrow, we can select and view any trailers for this movie. Pressing the right arrow again shows the details plot information. And pressing the right arrow one more time goes to the cast section. Here we can see a photo of the main actors plus view their bio. Pressing the up arrow sequences through the rest of the actors for this movie. Pressing the right arrow one more time shows the movie file details and pressing it one last time shows the help page. Very nice. Now let's press the home button to go back to our main index. Then I'm going to press the green button to go see our TV shows. 
and I'm going to go select John Adams and press enter. This is a typical details page with episode one appearing in the main pop-up. If we press the up arrow, we'll sequence through all of the episodes and we can press play on any episode that we want to watch. Pressing the right arrow shows the cast. And we also have a details and help button here as well. Well, there you have it, folks, a short run through of the Dynamic YAMJ or NMT server. Have a very nice day and enjoy your movies.